Right, at this point, you want to remove both the tubing from the side of the flanges and the housing. At this point, you want to stand your pump up, upright to access the bolts in the front of your cylinder flange. All right, now we're going to remove our bottom flange. slight twist. Move the O-ring. Pull out the cylinder and piston in one piece. Now to remove the cylinder, just knock it down here. It'll slide right out. So there's this large snap ring in here, one inch. You snap ring twice, remove it. There's two washers. A U cup seal and a rod bushing. flange and housing and flip it over. At this point, we're going to pull off our housing. The housing has a face seal on it.
Now we're going to remove our spool. First remove the alignment screw. And there's a no ring on the bottom of that. Remove that no ring. Pull out your spool. If necessary, and knock it. two spool seals. Be careful not to scratch the back of the spool as you're doing this with the pick. Now here there's a spiral ring. They're a little tricky to get out. Just push the little corner and then trace around it. It'll come right out. Then you'll have a washer, a U-cup seal, and another rod bushing. Okay, well your pump's all the way disassembled. I'm going to take time now to clean everything and make sure there's no scars and scratches on the inside ceiling surfaces. Uh, this can be polished with a light grit sandpaper if necessary. If not, I'd leave it as it is. Alright, to remove the piston crown seal, the best tool to use is a thin flathead screwdriver. Slip it in one side, get under it and pry it over. The seal cannot be reused. Once it's off, it's off. You need to replace it. 